I always thought I'd die in the line of duty. Caught in the crossfire of the endless gang wars or riots that were part of my daily life. But as a cop in Vanguard City, I was ready for it. Yeah, I was ready. I was one of the lucky people. I had a job, a wife, a child, a roof over my head. I could live within the specter of death if it meant leaving behind a legacy, a piece of me. But now, now I've got nothing. In a few minutes I'll be dead, and I won't feel the pain anymore. The pain of knowing that I couldn't, that I couldn't even save her. The things I've seen, that I've done, they all seem surreal, like some faded memory of another life. But this pain is all too real. It's all that remains of what was once my life. I think this must be our fate. We have lived as fools for ages, unaware of our own false existence and our inevitable demise. We should have seen this coming, and maybe we could have stopped them. But now, now it's too late. Ten sacrifice we sent to you. Have praise, our lords. Take this offering. More shall send to it. You prepare to die! Sometimes I wonder if my life before this chaos ever really existed. Or if it's just something I've imagined. Maybe this inversion of my life, this hell that has literally turned my world upside down, is just part of some warped dream or delusion. Whatever it is, it will all be over soon. Soon enough. Davis, where are you going? Leo, I told you already, I gotta run home for a minute. 
You can wait here if you want. I'll pick you up on my way back. I got nothing to do with you, partner. I'll take a ride with you. So, what can we wait until the end of the day? Oh, wait! You were going home for a... <laughs> Sorry, you think I could take a hint after all these years. Hey, I could, uh... I could wait in the car while you do your thing. That's really funny. I'm not going home for, uh... Today's Layla's birthday, you know, and, uh... We might not make it home till late, so... I want to give her a present before bedtime. You know how it is. No. I really don't. You're going soft on me, man. You're even wearing a bracelet. That's a friendship bracelet. A friendship bracelet? What's that, the new fad? Something like that. Uh, you know, you give it to someone you love and wear one yourself. It's what all the kids are asking for. Wow, and you're wearing one too. You do have a sensitive side after all. Uh, being a dad changes things. You start looking at the world a bit differently. Yeah, but sometimes you can take it overboard. Like that pitch you got on the dashboard. I mean, how many convicts do you think are going to intimidate with all that happiness staring them from the front seat? Convicts? I'm not worried about intimidating cons. They know what I can do if they act up. Watch it! Wow, that was close. We should follow that guy. What do you think? Nah, just radio it in. Traffic guys will take care of him. Yeah, I know. Priorities. We got a present to drop off. Station L23 to Station C10. We have a Code 5 on Highlander. I repeat, a Code 5. Oh, oh shit! What the hell was that? I have no fucking idea. Hey, did you hear that? Let's grab the weapons. We have to find out what's going on here. You're right, let's move. Come on, let's move. Belongings, nothing. They don't look like anyone I've ever seen. Never seen a gun like this before. Who the hell would need guns like this? We should call Central and check in. This might be citywide. I left the radio in the car. I'll go back and see what I can find out. Let's take him out! Back up. Let's get up to my apartment and call C10. I want to make sure that Kara and Layla are safe. Okay. What the hell? 
This thing is floating. Hey, Leo, we gotta go. Wow. How did you do that? I just put it there. What the fuck? Go! Go! Destroyed. Let's get to my apartment and call HQ. There's a back entrance. Don't know. The streets are all backed up. We might be on our own for now. We need to hurry. That door. Let's go. We'll pass through the parking lot and...
Mercy press. Up the stairs, third floor. Let's go. Watch it. Don't know, but we gotta get upstairs. The path is blocked. Let's find another way up. The whole building is falling apart. We need to hurry. I'll be right behind you. Just some of it. I can only pick up pieces of it. On the stairs! See? <clears throat> Give the bless! Here we go! Your place is on the third floor, right? We're close now. Yes. Let's go find them. Did you see that? Oh, my God. 